Archive 81 is about an archivist who takes a job restoring damaged videotapes and gets pulled into the vortex of a mystery involving the missing director and a demonic cult. Minor spoilers ahead. It is well shot and well acted, but it is eight episodes, which are each about an hour long, and that is way too long for what this is. So many dragged out panning shots. It could have easily been chopped down to a decent two-hour film. But the reason it is so unnecessarily long is because it is based on a found footage horror podcast. And being audio only, you have to include much more spoken detail to help create the theater of the mind. So as a cult leader myself, let me give you the cult breakdown. From the Lovecraft perspective, they did borrow several elements from the Call of Cthulhu. There is a buzzing song that plays in their heads that only certain people can hear, and one character even saying, you can hear it calling, calling from the other side. There is an artist who hears the call and goes mad, and they are following the path of a comet like Halley's Comet that returns to Earth every 70-something years and preparing to open a portal to another dimension. So there you have Lovecraft's phrase that the great old ones can only return when the stars are right. But they are worshipping a half-god, half-demon that looks like a cheap predator knockoff. And you get only five seconds of the actual demon itself. It's just a couple of shots trying to reach out of some monitors. So for all you monster movie fans, there is absolutely no payoff. This pissed me off the most. All the effects are video filters or shaky cam stuff or generic energy clouds to represent the other dimension that you can make in After Effects. And the cult just wore their street clothes with what looked like paper mache masks. As a horror series for the normies, it was competent. But as a real cult member, you will find yourself yelling, How fucking long does this descent into madness take? And lose interest well before the halfway mark of its seven and a half hours runtime. And the good guy, save the princess ending is just cringy. As a cultist movie, I would not recommend it. Instead, go find a copy of the 2019 film Satanic Panic on Shudder or Amazon. The horror comedy, but is also one of the best films about cults that has come out in years, is one of the best magic slash witchcraft scenes ever recorded, and you can check out my review here. Be sure to subscribe for more horror, occult, and Lovecraft madness. Until next time, Cthulhu Patagon.